Well, the uh, the area where where we are planting in, is in the eastern side of Bethlehem. The main permanent settlements are Tekoa, which is the one you see to the right hand there. The settlement here, uh, Nicodem settlement, is the most famous. It's famous for uh, being the residency area of the Israeli Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Avigdor Lieberman. Uh, today we we have been helping uh, a, a family from uh, from Tekoa area called Tine family, uh, and basically this is the first time they managed to to plant their their land in the past nine years. For the past nine years, the, their land as well as their neighbor's land was subject to uh, several uh, settler attacks and uh, vandalism. Uh, also, like it's so weird because settlers here view this uh, area from a biblical point of view. A uh, biblical point of view, known like this area is known for being the place where Prophet Amos uh, lived and used to be a shepherd. Uh, and here you get Israeli settlers who come in, try to to get their flocks into Palestinians' uh, property and destroy everything through their their sheep and so on. Also, they are the only type of shepherds that walk around with machine guns. Well, Women in Green is a settlers organization supported by the uh, basically the, the Israeli military, Israeli settlers, the Jewish National Fund, members of the Israeli parliament. Uh, and its job is basically to uh, uh, to kick Palestinian farmers off their land and confiscate their land under the motto that the land of Israel belongs to the people of Israel. Which means that the Palestinian owners of land are not people of Israel and therefore their land is not theirs. The Israelis claim that the land is a state land even though the farmer came with even Israeli acknowledged documents showing the map of his land, showing the, uh, like showing of course the Palestinian documents but also Israel documents approved by Israel. That the land is his and he can work on it whenever he wants. Uh, but the Israelis were like, no, this is like a state land, you are not allowed to be to be honest. Shit! Don't leave him! 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 Don't Var de, var de damene, eller? Ja. The Arabs killed the Jews. You are helping the Arabs take away our land. You know that this is our land. I'm happy you crying. You are a collaborator. Change sides. Wake up. You are helping the Arabs steal the land of the Jewish people. You are helping those who want to destroy the Jewish people. You are helping, you are helping Ahmed Najad. 
you are not working with people like Ahmadinejad, with people like in Syria. You are helpers and collaborators of terrorists. The way the Jewish people are here to stay, we will always be here. We've been here 4,000 years. This is our land, and nothing you can do will change that. Okay? This is our land. This is the land of the Jewish people. Your grandparents helped the Nazi kill my family, but we live here. And today you are helping today's Nazis. Please go to the road. Shame on you. Please go to the road. We'll go down that way. Jimmy, Jimmy, I need to look at you. Yes, yes, yes. One day, when we'll go, after we'll 120, we'll and God will tell you what did you do on this earth. You will be accused of helping Satan, of helping those who want to destroy Western civilization. Those Arabs belong to those who want to crush the Christians and the Jews, the Judeo-Christian civilization. Don't you know that in the Palestinian Authority, the main title is first the Saturday people, then the Sunday people. First we'll kill the Jews, then we'll kill the Christians. And you are so naive. You are helping them to take our land, and then they'll rise up in Europe. Just shut up. War is the war between There's Islam no and war the here. Christian civilization. There's no war and here. You are helping Islam against your There's thieves and landowners. There's in the a end, war between we thieves and landowners. So just shut up. Keep your Jewish stupidity people. for yourself. And God is on our side. Yeah. So we thank you for planting on our land. Yeah. Thank you, you for planting trees for us, for the Jewish people, yeah. because this will become yeah. stay us. Yeah. And please read yeah. history. Yeah. Read yeah. read it. Read we read it. that you are on the wrong side. Read the book we read it. Uh, from time yes. immemorial to who no. this land really no. belongs. Yeah. Remember that the land of Israel is smaller than the state of New Jersey. Don't help today's Nazis. You are collaborating with today's Nazis. Those are people who want to kill the Jewish people. You are collaborating. Never convince her otherwise. Hello. Let's just go down where the trees are. Just try to. This is not the way to ignore them. Why is he on? Why is he on? Why is he on? Why is he on? Why is Ja, det är det. Jag pillar. Jag har massor. 
Jeg altså de kommer der, styrkeforholdet er sånn, altså vi står der. Kan gjøre det til, for jeg får ikke med på video hvis det er. Sånn! Ok, jeg skal gjøre sånn. Sånn. Ok. Altså, vi står der, prøver å plante oliven her, for de stakkars araberne som ikke får plante en eller annen dritt, fordi at... For at israelerne har fullstendig overtaket, så kommer de med sine våpen bare for å demonstrere at de har så inn i granskeven mye mer makt enn det vi har. Så vi kan jo ikke noe annet enn å bare gå. Ja, plutselig. Ja, plutselig ble det militærsånd bare fordi at vi skulle hjelpe med de å plante olivet her. Let's get back, ah, let's get back on the bus. Uh, what ba basically like what uh, what happened is like by the end I realized we were fooled. Uh, the uh, we were fooled. The, the soldiers said first that all the internationals have to be out of the field and only the families are allowed to to stay on the field. And after we left, they started this military started rounding up the tools and the trees. And uh, they were planning to just confiscate all the tools and the, the trees. Uh, and the, the family was not allowed to continue or to proceed with the planting. Abu Ahmed, you seen he... Uh, he uh, called the, the lawyer and there is like a lawyer from Rabais for Human Rights on, uh, on the case right now. This is probably one of the very first times that we get uh, called off uh, of the land. And uh, anyways, but if there is any positive thing about it, it's basically like exposing the plan that Israel has for that piece of land. And the, uh, the farmer will have a chance to once again get a court case stating that his land is his. But everything like the... Uh, the military is Israeli, the court is Israeli, the lawyer is Israeli, the, uh, the military that wants to get him out of the land, the settler organization, like everyone around this case is the Isra Israelis, like persecution and court and lawyers and whatever. Uh, and the only thing that's Palestinian in the whole case is a farmer with his land. So um, we'll basically we'll see what, what will happen, but right now, uh, we managed to plant some trees, and uh, I hope we did not make a lot of Well, basically, like, we did not make any troubles. I think we helped out, but the Israelis were definitely not happy with, with us doing that. The person who was arrested was his, uh, uh, his nephew, and that kid is, like, the way... I don't know if you got that on camera or not, but he did completely nothing. And it's a classic way for Israeli military and police to disperse uh, a group of people. They will just go on one of the kids, arrest him, create chaos, and kick everyone out of the out of the land. And uh, if I want to start talking about the Israeli procedures that are comparable to the Nazi procedures, I would say things like labeling Palestinians in the same way Jewish people were labeled. Uh, putting signs where the Israelis themselves say no Palestinian allowed or no Jewish person allowed. It's really frustrating that Israeli racism is biblical and Palestinian struggle for their land is some kind of anti-Semitic or Nazi. Just really completely like weird definition for, for racism. Would this car in the front take us all the way back to Beit Zahur? We were ordered to follow a police car, and the police car is right in front of us, just to make sure we are back into our concentration camp in Bethlehem.